with your colors They kind of tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Happy Sunday. Dinner tonight is chicken pot pie. So this is a recipe from All Recipes and I just double it. Follow the instructions exactly except for instead of cutting up my own veggies, I just use bags of frozen organic veggie mix. And so that just makes it a lot easier. It makes this happen a lot faster for me. Um, so I double it instead of putting it in a pie tin. Um, I put it in a casserole dish. This is a larger, uh, this is bigger than a nine by 13. I'm not sure what size it is, but I put two pie crusts at the bottom, put the filling, put the two on top. I didn't even like try to make it seal because everyone just kind of scoops it out anyway. So no use in making it look super pretty. Um, so we are going to serve it with cantaloupe tonight just to keep things simple because we're having a pretty late Sunday dinner. And then for dessert, we always have dessert on Sundays. I made these oatmeal cream whoopie pies. This recipe is from Mix and Match Mama, but instead of oil, I use butter in it. So it is a family favorite. It is one of John's favorites. And so that is what we are having for dinner tonight. Okay, it is Monday and we are having Mississippi roast for dinner tonight. Um, so I've got that going. This is actually a new crock pot, so I was a little concerned about how it was gonna cook, but it seems perfect. Um, and then I made some rolls in my, well, I made the dough in the bread machine, and so just baked those real quick. We've got some butter there. I made some smashed organic red potatoes. Um, in there and then I've got some green beans some fresh green beans here as well So that is dinner tonight And I almost forgot to mention that I was able to save half of the dessert for us to have tonight as well But it was tempting to get to these all day today. Everyone's been asking for some of these oatmeal cream pies So a Monday night dessert, which is a treat it is taco Tuesday tonight, and I just made that three ingredient crock pot salsa chicken. It's just chicken, taco seasoning, and salsa cooked on low for like six hours and then shredded up. We've got refried beans, some romaine and tomato, uh, guacamole and sour cream, some strawberries just on the side, some cheese. We've got some tortilla chips for the salsa and guac. These are the tortilla land tortillas I just cooked up real quick. They're so good. And then we accidentally grabbed hot salsa when we were at the store instead of uh, mild. So we'll see if anybody wants to go for that. I certainly will not be going for that. Um, or maybe I would without Josephine, but Josephine would not be a fan of that. So um, speaking of, time to go. We are having dessert again tonight. Uh, Annabeth's dentist is about 45 minutes away and there is a crumble cookies there in that town. So, we had to grab some. So we picked these up earlier. And I actually, I won't show it because I'm gonna serve it up in a minute um, and the kids are anxious for me to serve it up. But I cut them in quarters and then everyone picks two different quarters. So there's mint chocolate, strawberry ice cream bar, chocolate chip, and then monster cookie, and then chocolate caramel and banana bread. So everyone will get a couple, and this will last us a few days. So apparently we're having dessert every single night this week, but it's good because we just started working on a new scripture memory program uh, after dinner time, so it's nice to have dessert every night. So that's fun. So we will cut these up. I And if you don't have a crumble near you, a quarter of a cookie seems uh, like I'm being really, really uh, mean to my kids to not them have a whole one, but look how these are literally as big as my hand. So in case the video didn't do it any justice. Okay, dinner tonight was an unexpected blessing from John's cousin. He and his wife provided dinner for us from uh, our favorite local barbecue restaurant. Uh, so it's just like a family feast of some different barbecued meats and some veggies and sweet potato fries. Um, well, I have totally lost my train of thought. Green beans, macaroni, yeah. sweet potato fries. <laughs> That's not, oh yeah, the kids have mac and cheese. What was I gonna say? 
That is Congratulations. delicious. Huh. Oh, after I was gonna say, she didn't sign up for our meal train Ooh. after the baby was born, uh, specifically so Ooh. that she could gift us a meal, you know, a few weeks after when all the meals had stopped. And it really is such a treat. Like, it was so nice to just spend time with the family tonight and not cook. Dinner tonight is veggie lo mein. This is a family favorite, mostly my 11 year old son's favorite. Um, and this is a great recipe to break up all the very heavy dinners we've had lately. So there's um, some peas and um, bell peppers and spinach and mushrooms and carrots and all sorts of good stuff in there. Um, and then the sauce is made out of uh, some coconut aminos I use instead of soy sauce and some sugar. Um, there's some sesame oil and ginger and garlic. So this is a simple, simple recipe. It took me less than 10 minutes to prep um, and it is uh, a favorite. So that's dinner tonight. All right, dinner tonight is pizza. I used a new pizza crust recipe and it looks like it turned out really well. But the only thing is I made it earlier in the day and I stuck it in the fridge to stop it from doing a second rise and it like was rising like crazy. So, but it did end up rising. So I'm pretty thrilled about that. It looks good. And then I did those oven baked wings that I always talk about barbecue and mild wing sauce. And then I'm no fool and I'm not going to put a salad out with this spread. So I've got apples and carrots for the kids to munch on because we do have cake tonight for a, what does that make a fifth night of dessert this week mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah it's crazy the kids made a cake with their duchess bakes a cake five in a row unit and i've been making them wait all day to serve it tonight so we will be having cake with our pizza and our apples and carrots and our wings tonight so pizza movie night one bite, everybody knows the rules. Okay, dinner tonight is barbecue ranch pasta salad. This is, act, or it's not pasta salad, it's pasta bake, and this is actually really good. I wasn't sure how the flavors were gonna taste um, combined together. It's got like some corn, literally barbecue and ranch mixed together, rotel, um, tons of other things, cheese mixed in there with the pasta and chicken, and it's so good. Um, and then I'm just serving it with broccoli and a little tossed salad. Okay, dinner tonight is one of our favorites. So it's our favorite when it's in this specific combination. We would probably love each thing individually, but I make it as a whole every time. So we've got um, shish kebabs. This is like a Greek chicken marinade. I will link below. And then I add, uh, you know, a bunch of veggies. We've got zucchini, yellow squash, some sweet onion, some bell pepper, and some mushroom so that's so John grilled that and then we love dipping it in this whipped feta so this whipped feta dip is super simple it's like a block of high quality feta and then some Greek yogurt and some olive oil and then some lemon zest and you whip that in a food processor or I just use my Vitamix drizzle of olive oil and some mint on top and then this is a warm mint orzo mint and feta orzo pasta and this is super yummy. This has like some oil and vinegar dressing and some lemon juice and some peas and mint and some, um, what is the feta I used for this? The Mediterranean herb feta. This is really delicious. So in combination, this all tastes really good together. So that is what we are having for dinner. Hey, Annie, what day is it? I don't know. What day of the week is it? <laughs> Where did we go this morning? We go to church? Uh-huh. Okay, so what day is it? Uh, is it... <laughs> is it Sunday? It's Sunday, and what do we have after dinner on Sundays? Marshmallow pies. Oh, well, we have dessert. <laughs> we are having Sunday dessert, which doesn't seem very special this Sunday since we had dessert so many other days this week, but we are having, um, these are like peanut, I feel like they're called like something magic, like peanutty magic s'mores bars or something. It came up on my Alexa, which is also a new thing to me and thank goodness I had a teenager around to save the recipe. I, like recipes pop up on the Alexa screen all the time and I have no idea what to do with them. But she saved it, we found it, and this is what we're having for dessert tonight. It's like um, graham cracker crust with like some chocolate chips and peanut butter chips and peanuts and marshmallows on top and 
It looks really good. So I'm gonna cut these up and we've got some decaf coffees going here and we are going to have a little family night tonight.